assembly of the baby swing chair seat All right, by Koji. So, so we just uh, spread the parts out. So you've got your two sides. The arch is actually the top. We don't, so we don't set it up like that. We set it up like that. It sits on top of your chair like that. You've got the front, which will eventually go into there. There's two ways this goes. You can see the curve is like the bonnet of a car. So it goes that direction and not, not that direction. So we put that down there. This is the left hand side of the chair. This is the back of the seat. Okay, the buckle is at the back, so obviously that's the back, that's the front, goes around and grabs your child. Now we start, I've already done this one, we thread the rope from underneath, up through the sides. That's a simple process, the rope's already cut for you, so it's a simple process of just twisting it through, twisting this one through. Okay, now what we do, these are interline. So we get the bottom of the first side. Okay, try line it up. Then we get the bottom of the chair. And then we thread it through. That, like that. Okay, now we do the same to this one. Through like that. Now in the back of the chair. Then through the top of the arch again. Okay, now we do the same to this. Up through the side panel. Make sure you got this right, around the right way. Up through there. Then once more for the, the rest of the side panel. Now through this side panel here. Then we put the front. Okay, then up through there. Okay, now all it is is a simple process, pulling it together. and it clips in. Tension that one up as best you can. Pull it tight. And that one there is also now clipped in. We do the same to the back. Pull it tight. You might have to massage it a little bit to get the rope sitting in there as best you can so that when you pull it, it goes in like that's it. Same with this side, straight in. It's probably a better idea to pull the two ropes together. So pull the two ropes together it might be easier. Then this slots in. All right, this slots in and you get these pins, which they thread through. Now this, this sometimes takes a little bit of lining up. Alright, we're in there. Hold your finger there so it doesn't come out again. Push the front of the plug. In the other end. Probably like the most trickiest part because it keeps moving around on you. You've got two people. Okay, now this one. Push down tight. Got to push it in until it gets to the other side.
until that pin comes through. Hold it there with the other finger. Put the locking plug in. The other end, push it in tight, and there you go. Now, try to make these so they're the same height. So these are obviously not the same height, so we, we pull it through there a little bit. Until we get the same height. Now, this is a tricky part for some people. So if you pay attention, if we feed it through it, you've got one, two, three holes. So we start with the top hole. So if we feed it through the top hole, maybe we'll do it from the top so you can see better. Through the top hole, you pull it through about 100 mil. Feed it through the second hole, then in through, weave it through the third hole. Now when you bring it back through the third hole, you are going to pull it through underneath that lip. It's going to lock like that, you pull down on it, with a little bit of overlap, and we do the same. To the other side, through the top hole, through the second hole, a second hole, through the third hole, up there, through. Pull down on it and it will then lock in. Now I've done it so one knot comes through this side, the other knot comes through this side. This balances the swing better once it's, it's hanging from the um, from the right. top. So we do the same to this side. So it will go through the first hole. Through the second hole, through the third bottom hole, up through that gap in that loop there, pull tight, okay now you've got to try to make these even as possible. Second, third, through the loop, pull it tight, and then we have it done. Now I've got to adjust the ropes a little bit, I'll muck around with that threading back and forth until I get them all the same height. 